Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a couple of journals to share with you finally. There's only two. These journals are going to be available up on my website. I haven't set the date at the time of filming this, so all of that information will be in the description box as usual. I've been pretty tight for time, so I decided just to do two this time. They come in these drawstring bags. I haven't put the cord in here yet. I didn't actually realize I made the bags quite tight, so the journals fit really, really snugly in here. But I'll just put some cord through the top and they'll sort of pull together a little bit at the top. But I made the bags with a couple of vintage linen um, napkins. So I had a couple of these and so I put two together to create this bag. And then for this one, this one has a different back. So just slightly different, but I just put those two napkins together to sew the bags. I just thought that would be quite cute. So I'm gonna take them out and show you. So these are the two journals that I've made. As you can see, they're like a smaller square sort of size, but they're really, really chunky. So they have a lot of pages in here. They're both made pretty much the exact same. They just have a different variation of patterns and colors and stuff. So these journals are made with, they're like a semi sort of soft cover. So they have this frame on the front where you can pick through to the first page. So the front is some card stitched together and the back is also card. And then the spine is made out of, oh, I can't think of what it's called, but it's like a card slash fabric. I'll try and remember to look it up and put the word up on the screen in case you're wondering. But it's basically like a really sturdy, flexible, fabric-y card. So it kind of, you can kind of work with it like leather in a way. And that's what I used for the spines of both books. So I pieced that stuff together with the card. It's all stitched together and then you have this nice frame in the front. So they have the same shape, but this one goes this way. So you've got the round bit at the top and this one's got the round bit at the bottom. On the covers, the flowers and the butterflies are some decals. I thought that those would look really pretty to frame the picture. And then on the spine, again, these are decals as well. So you can see they have a difference in color. This one's got like a ready brown color and this one has like a bluey gray. And the spines are both about three inches. This one is just slightly wider and that's the back of the books. So for the covers, I did paint the colors. I also used Distress Oxide Spray, I think that's what it's called, which is just an interesting dis Distress Spray that sort of reacts with water in different ways. So I played around with that a little bit to make them look a little bit distressed. And so that's how I did the covers. They both have the beads, the little beaded charms that I do, and they both have pretty much the same assortment of stuff. So there's like a little bottle with a key and some of that faux grass. There's some buttons, different beads, another little blue glass bottle. There's a little pine cone charm and some wooden beads. I kept them kind of understated, but I think they look really, really pretty. So that's that one. And then this one has, again, the same sort of stuff. So same sorts of things, beads and buttons and charms. So this one has the blue binding with the red charms or the red charm cord. And this one has green binding with a purple charm cord. So peeking through the windows on the cover, I used two of my printable cabinet cards on the front just to frame these beautiful little pieces from the Crepe Paper Magical Forest collection. So this one has the fox and this one has the bunny. I just thought they were such a cute little focal point to put on the cover and I wanted to frame it inside the frame. So it's like a frame, this is the frame and then there's another frame and I think that's just a really nice touch to make it stand out and sort of pop off the page. And as you can see, they both have gold inside, so a gold um, inner front cover, I guess, but in the back they have a pattern. So the box has this light sort of botanical print and then the bunny has the same, but in black, so, so the same paper in different colors. Since I use the printable cabinet cards on the front, I used this Distress Glaze to seal the frames in because I printed them on my inkjet printer. 
and that just is like a sealant for ink so it protects it from water and stuff. I have used other printables in these journals but everything else apart from the cabinet cards has been printed at Officework so everything's been printed on a laser printer so everything should be really good quality. And the theme for these journals is pretty much the same as my own personal journal which is like a woodland slash fairy tale theme. And as I said there's lots and lots of pages, there's, I think they have 11 signatures each. So they have a lot of pages in here. I don't want to flick through every single page, but I want to give you a look at the sorts of papers that I've included. So there's some double-sided paper, some vintage ledger paper, some fairy tale book pages, lots of different assortment of patterns. This is a linen printable that's been stitched down the side so you can tuck something behind there, some music paper. This is one of my pocket designs. So again, this has been printed at Officeworks, but you can tuck something in there and it's been stitched together. This is from the Crate Paper Magical Forest collection, which went really, really well with all the papers and the theme for these journals. I've stitched some pieces of fabric down the edge of the page so they sort of overhang and bring a little bit of uh, like a pop of colour and a contrast to the book to make it feel really playful and whimsical, some fold outs, some pretty floral. There's a fair few pockets as well in here and they're filled with ephemera. I'm pretty sure I counted over 60 pieces of, of ephemera in each book. So this is a printable from, from Victoria Designs which I'll link below. So I printed this out as like a little note as like a piece of note paper that slips in there. This is one of my linen printables as a pocket. And I also, on some of the plain pages, I took some scrapbook paper and I folded it in half and I stitched it along the edge just to sort of dress the page up a little bit. This is one of my paper designs. And then in this pocket you got this whimsical postcard with the mushrooms and a vintage playing card. Beautiful deer paper, some cream paper. I also made these pockets that are lined with fabric. So the outside is black, which I really like writing on with white pen, but inside it's lined with fabric and it's just a nice big pocket in there, which feels really, I don't know, it feels kind of luxurious because it's, it's lined with fabric, so it's kind of soft. There's a vintage playing card, and this is one of my printables from the Enchanted paper pack. Um, I want to go through semi-quick, so we're not here for too long. But again, this is a crepe paper printable. This is one of my printables. And then we've got this little coin envelope, which has um, another printable from my shop. So that's supposed to be Hansel and Gretel, which just slips in there. Some pretty papers, mushroom papers, vintage ledger. It's another pocket. This is one of my pocket designs. And then a couple of printables here. So these two are my printables. This is a um, like a noble cover. This inside lining is from Victoria Designs and so is the little postcard. The postcard could actually sit inside there, which would be cute. So they can just be moved around wherever you like. Some so pretty storybook pages, scrapbook papers, this is another pocket, this is my paper, and in here this is a tag that I made, so you can do some writing on the back, it's got that fabric stitched along the bottom, and then here we have this pretty sort of metallic black envelope which has some different labels which are also from Victoria Designs, they just slip in there. Um, this is a fold out in the middle of the signature so again it's got fabric on the inside and it's like a triple pocket so we've got a couple of fun little piece, bits and pieces tucked into the pockets. This is like a postcard. This is a real vintage postcard but I wasn't too fond of the image on the back so I stitched this pattern paper onto the back of the postcard and then just some more little fun bits and pieces in there another one of those paper patterns along the edge and another pocket here with some more pieces so these two are made by me and this one is from crepe paper 
really pretty scrapbook papers and vintage paper. Another one of those pretty strips of paper along the edge. This is a full size pocket. I don't know if there's anything in this one. So this is my paper and then this is like a Kaiser Craft paper. And then all of these double sided woodland papers are from Craft Consortium. So I'll try and remember to put in the description box all that information below if you're wondering what papers I use. This is also a Craft Consortium paper, just a different paper pack. So another pocket here, this one has a few bits and bobs in it. So this is uh, crepe paper, these are Kaiser Craft, and this is mine. So this is like the gingerbread house. This is also Craft Consortium, but again a different paper pad. Um, this is my paper. I love how these children's book papers look in here. I tried to pick ones that didn't have a heap of writing on them. Lots of really pretty florals. This is another one of my pockets. And in this one, I've just got a couple of bits and pieces which are by crepe paper again. I didn't want to tuck them all the way in because I didn't want them to get lost in the pocket. Another big pocket here, so like this whole thing is a pocket, and there's a vintage playing card, and then this is one of my drawings, and then this is from crepe paper again. Um, lots of the same sorts of things. This is a vintage playing card, which is absolutely gorgeous, and then this is a piece by crepe paper again. Just a really fun fold out in the middle of the signature. This is a big pocket here. So again, more of the same sorts of things. Vintage playing cards, cut apart sheets. This is the postcard from Victoria Designs. This is one of my papers for Little Red Riding Hood. And it's a pocket, again, vintage playing card, Victoria Designs label. And I think this is like maybe Tim Holtz ephemera piece. And then this is my moth paper, some vintage music paper, it's like a little mini pocket page here. So this is a pocket, I think that's another Tim Holtz ephemera piece, I don't know if there's anything on the other side. Oh yeah, little labels, again from Victoria Designs. Over here, another pocket, I think this coin envelope has more little printed labels and bits and bobs. So just fun little pieces you can use to decorate pages. And getting towards the back, this is a pocket here. I like this pocket too because it's, it's, I put the more vibrant pattern on the inside so you can write on top of here with a white pen and then inside it's got this really pretty pop of floral. And then again some more labels, vintage playing card, they just tuck inside there. And then this is also a pocket, it was just a tag. This is one of my papers again. This is Vintage Ledger. This is from Craft Consortium. Another pocket here. With some fun little bits and pieces inside there. Another pocket here. What's in this one? Another tag. More pretty papers, different size papers. Then there's also this. This is like a a double big pocket and again this is fabric lined so with that same fabric so it's like card on the outside and then you've got fabric on the inside which again I just think it feels so nice and then I just tucked a flash card inside instead of cutting it to fit I just folded it so you can use it how you like um, more of the same stuff I said I wasn't going to show you every page but I pretty much ended up showing you every page this paper and this paper are both designed by me and then here we've got another pocket made by me and an extra cabinet card again made by me so this is a little photo pocket you can tuck a photo or whatever you like in there um, which I think is really fun and then that is pretty much the whole journal for this one it's just my little tag in the back so that is the one with the bunny now I'll just show you the Fox one, it's pretty much the same, just a different variety of stuff, but it's very, very similar. So again, nice big chunky book, lots and lots of pages, 
lots and lots of pockets, lots and lots of ephemera. So this is a pocket here. I don't think there's anything in there though. There's some book page, pretty florals. This is a pocket here. Again, I included that same writing paper from Victoria Designs. And then this is one of my designs. This is one of my vintage linen printables. And I made it like a pocket that goes across the page so you can write over here. And then there's also another pocket here with the tag, which just sits really well in there. Then more of the same sort of stuff. Again, love how these look in here. It just makes it feel really whimsical, which is what I was going for. Then this is a pocket, again, my printable and crepe paper. This is all craft consortium, vintage music paper, cream paper. This is my mushroom paper, and, and I put another one of those pockets onto it. We've got the unicorn, and then this is like my little cottage drawing that comes in the enchanted paper pack. Love this chicken paper by Craft Consortium. Another one of those mini page pockets. So there's a label there from Victoria Designs. And in this side, what have we got in here? Just some more bits and pieces. So a Victoria Designs postcard and then this cute little piece by Crate Paper that says Make Believe. Another pocket here which has some little cut apart pieces in there. So I tried to do lots of pockets that were like full pages, like full size pages. So you use this like a normal page and then you can also slip things in between, which I think is really fun and really usable. Love this paper. This is from a fairy tale book, like a storybook paper. Love that. You could write something really cool in there, like a little frame for your writing. Vintage ledger. Cute rainbows, all the same sort of stuff. This is a pocket I was meant to sew in and then have it as a pocket. I missed it when I was doing the sewing, so I just left it here on a paper clip so that you can move it around the journal and use it wherever you like. More of the same sorts of things. Lots of fun paper to play with. This is a pocket here, and then this is another one of those metallic black envelopes and then one of my printable notebook covers which again I lined with that paper by Victoria Designs. So that slips in there. Another one of my printables and as I said all of the printables that I've included and all the papers that I printed out and used in here and bound in here were all printed at Officeworks. Some more bits and pieces tucked into this pocket. Really pretty florals. Okay, so this one also has the same lined pocket. In this one I put more bits and bobs from Victoria Designs and one of those really whimsical colouring postcards, which fits really well in that pocket. Again, how cool would this be just to write down on the cloud? And in the sky. I think that would look so cool. More of the same stuff. Lots of pretty florals. Cute little animals. Mushrooms. Vintage ledger paper. Some more ephemera pieces in this pocket. So vintage playing card. This is one of my designs and this is a crepe paper cut apart. And then this is another pocket. These papers are made by me and this um, ephemera piece is made by me as well. And over here, another one of my pockets and I've made another one of those postcards. So again, this is a real vintage postcard and I just stitched it onto some pattern paper that I felt matched better with this book. And then more pretty floral papers. They both have the same amount of papers and the same type of pages and papers, so vintage playing cards and then this is a journal card. More pretty paper with some trim stitched along the edge, little red riding hood pockets. This is again mine and then crepe paper. Another pocket here, I think this coin envelope again has some of the smaller printables, so like the little label pieces from Victoria Designs. And that just slips in there. 
and then again these this card pocket with the lined fabric on the inside and so there's a vintage flash card in this side and then in this side another flash card then over here this little pocket just has a few more bits and pieces so mine Victoria designs and a vintage playing card and I think those pieces look so pretty together so you tuck them there another vintage playing card and some little tags So this is a, another one of my cabinet card printables. I it with a little piece of that um, fairy tale book paper. This is my paper and this is crepe paper magical forest. Then this is my pocket and just a couple more bits and bobs tucked in there. Uh, another little coin envelope which I think has some little labels. I really love how these children's book pages have so much room to write so you can literally just write in between the images which I think will look super cool then the same thing as the other one with the like triple pocket and it's lined with fabric on the inside and then there's just some different bits and pieces tucked into each pocket so different things for you to play with these pieces as well are also pockets on the outside so that's kind of fun Um, getting towards the back, there's the other half of that linen printable stitched along the edge. This is my Little Mermaid paper and then again some more bits and bobs inside the pocket. This is my paper again and then this is a pretty little pocket here with a postcard from Victoria Designs. Fold out on the other side and then another pocket here with some pretty pieces. This is another one of my pockets, just put a little label piece in there and that is the back. So that is the two journals. As I said, I'll leave all the information for the sale in the description box below. One thing I wanted to say, most of you are probably aware right now there's a delay with shipping. So I know it varies, some things I bought from overseas have taken up to seven weeks to arrive, so from America to Australia, and then other things I bought more recently have come quicker, so like three to four weeks, so there can be a bit of a delay. just want to make you aware of that. If you are interested in purchasing one of these journals and you live in a different country to me, there could be a little delay with how long it takes to get to you. If you have any questions about these journals, you can leave them in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been making and I will see you in my next video. Bye.